Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How you guys doing? Today I'm gonna be sharing with you my opinion on why I'm skipping Evan Shreen and why you also might want to skip. So, of course, you would pull for the characters you like. If you like Aventurine, please pull for the characters so you can enjoy the game, right? I always say that, regardless if the character is good or bad, if you like the character, just go for it. That's the one thing that will make you continue to play the game. It's not if the character is good, it's gonna help your account. Of course, that things to consider too, but that takes me to the main point of the video. Honkai Star Rail is an easy game. What I'm... What do I mean about that is that if you invested in the four stars <laughs> that the game gives you, you'll be able to complete the game without an issue. Even Memory of Chaos, which also made me make this video because I've seen a lot of YouTubers making videos saying Aventurine is a must pull so you can beat MOC 12 that they're struggling with. What? <laughs> um... Like, th this was just so confusing to me, is that pulling a character will make you beat a content. This has never been the case with the game. You can always beat everything with the bare minimum characters that the game give you. You don't have to pull for the five stars to complete the game. Same thing with Genshin Impact. You can just complete the entire game, which is the four stars. Same thing here, too. You just have to invest into the character, and which I, which I mean is by investing is just maxing out their traces, giving them good relics, all that, right? Why would you want to pull for Aventurine is something else. As I said, if you like the character, if you have a follow-up team that you feel like he's gonna help that team too, of course, go for it. If you're planning on pulling for Robin to complete the full follow-up team, yes, that will have this will be a very good team to to consider building, of course. But don't go and just follow whatever someone say about <laughs> just because they not able to beat a content and they pull the character that helped them beat that content that means all the other characters here are just bad you can actually beat moc with just march 7th as your as your sustain right if you have Fu Wang, you are set you don't need to pull for any other sustained character in the entire game because you can just go on with Fu Wang and any other healer on the second team. And that's it. If you're talking about the value for your account. Adventuring's value is great on his own. Yes, I agree with all these points. I understand. But do you need him? No. <laughs> um... The amount of videos I've seen just saying that you have to pull for Adventuring or he's a must summon or something like... That's just, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know what they're trying to, to do, I don't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure this is just for, for like, views, I mean, we all make videos for views, but I wouldn't tell someone to go out of their way to pull for a character if they planning on pulling for other characters that they are saving for, just for views, so, if you have other characters that invested in, like March 7th, Japard, Fu Wang. You don't need to pull for Aventurine. Really. If you already have two good healers on your team, you don't need to pull for Aventurine. If you have Locha and Hu Hu, or Lynx, or Galhar, you don't need to pull for Aventurine. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm not gonna like mention YouTubers by name, but there's a lot of videos I've seen about how important adventuring is for your account the only thing i would say he is important for if you are building that follow-up team with topaz dr ratio and him and robin yes that's a cool team to build other than that i would say he's a skip in my opinion um i never made a video that i'm that i've been like so negative about because um, I haven't been around like YouTube for the past week, but when, when I came back, I just opened to check how how's everyone talking about the venture. And I was like, how is MOC 12 just forcing you to pull a character when you can just beat it in auto if you invested in any other character? 
there is a video on my channel where I can just beat it in auto. And I will continue pulling, like, putting out more videos just for this MOC12 on auto. I'm not gonna even play the game. I'll just leave it on auto. So, yeah. Um, Eventually, is a great character. If you don't have Fu Shuang and you really want, like, the most shiny five star on your account to have her like to to have her place sure eventually is great to to have if you really have Fu Shuang and you don't really like eventually don't listen to anyone saying that he's a must pull and just go out of your way to pull for it if you like the character go for it if you don't just skip you can just rely on the four stars there are actual great channels on YouTube that have beat <laughs> MOC12 with just 4 stars. I'm gonna leave um, a link for that too in the description. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, sorry again for being negative making this video. I'm sorry, but I was just confused why people were talking about like like asking people like, nah, that's just, that, that wasn't, like, come on guys, come on.